Adam Abrams. Great. Uh, Adam, you are welcome to take the podium. Yeah. Um, the Hollywood means a great deal to me. It's a landmark. It's a community space. It's an icon of the entire city. Everyone knows the Hollywood. So I think it's really vital that we use the Hollywood as a test case to show you know, how we can protect heritage and how we can preserve communities. Uh, There's an alternative plan that's being put together. I can see the Hollywood continue to be a vital community space, even better than it was before. But it's only going to happen if the city takes an active role and, and really comes to the table as a proactive partner in the process. So I, I urge you, I ask you to take those steps to protect the Hollywood for our heritage, for today, and for the future. Um, I'm also uh, an actor and a sometimes singer, musical theater guy. And uh, actually, Mary Robertson, we, we met briefly, you probably don't remember, a few years ago. I was dressed as an elf at the time, so I don't know if you recall that. <laughs> yeah, I was the world's tallest uh, elf, yeah. And, uh, but uh, be that as it may, um, I have something for you to kind of wrap things up here. And I think I like to say it in song. There's my mic. Let's save the Hollywood. There are so many reasons why we should. We sure don't need another fitness gym. We're already thin and we're starved for community space. Concerts, plays, there's so many ways. Our great green city could reuse this space. I mean the Hollywood. It is an icon of the neighborhood. It was a movie house for 80 years, gave us laughs and tears. Now it could be something much more. So keep it standing tall, because it's good for all. Let's save the Hollywood. Somewhat surprisingly, there are no questions for you. So.